It's all my ink. I have this uh, mic on, so. Yeah, that's all right. Be a gentleman and help me off with my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cody, can you believe that marriage didn't work out? <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe your relationships don't work out. <laughs> you want me to be a soft, uh, you know, you know, one of those Twitter tough guys? When guys come and sit on the couch, I go right after them. Don't you respect me for that? No, I don't. <laughs> your big dumb desk hiding behind your I microphone. I you for keeping it real, Colin. Yeah, I kept it a hundred. Well, what about you when you call can... somebody out and then have them in front of you? That's punk. Can't do no, that. but then you can actually just admit that you're wrong when the guy's delivering, because now he's delivering, he's still trash. Well, yeah, him. he's not admitting that he's yeah, wrong. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. If we went to a movie together, would uh, we sit next to each other? Would you want a seat between us? You know, oh, Jesus. Because that's a tough thing. I'd want to sit like nine rows behind you and, and just tug on your ponytail. <laughs> you savage. That's what I would do. Of course I'm blind I'm, to... Of course I'm interested. Hey, let me help out before you <laughs> yell at me again. <laughs> Uh, isn't your idol Richard Pryor? Everybody. Yeah. Everybody? Everybody. All right, let's bring Oh, him no, up. You, you don't idol Richard Pryor? Come on. Good to see yeah, him, that's my like friend. It's like asking a guitar player if he likes Hendrix. I mean, the, he's the man. All right. He's all the right, man. All right. See how I do that? You just ask me a question, all of a sudden I make it uncomfortable? That's you didn't make it uncomfortable. Nobody <laughs> brings I felt, I felt good. I felt good. I felt, make sure you, you speak into the mic. Make sure you speak into the mic. There you go. You're whatever incognito. You're an enigma. <laughs> what? Because I make a pie? No, you know what it is? You're not a good listener. You know, you've known me for 10 years. You have no idea who I am. It's all about comedy with you and moving up the ladder, pushing people up. A lot of people think that uh, they're uncomfortable with my, uh, my um, elevation. Are you uncomfortable with it? No, I just see all of your insecurities. <laughs> your <laughs> giant go. desk. You know, I've been on the same tour for this hour for almost over a year now. Um, Dude, bands tour for like four years and then fucking go right back in the studio, make another one and keep going. You got to toughen up, man. Yeah, you're right, huh? You know? What do I do? You camouflage think? hat looking like a fucking backwoods guy, all tough and shit. You can't handle doing your hour again. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Suck it up. I heard you have a terrible theory, and I want you to say this. So your theory on Boston is let's just wait till LeBron's old. You don't want to be aggressive and get players. I didn't say that. What did you, you say? You got misinformation. What did you say? Well, why would you say I have a horrible theory without checking with me first? <laughs> it's like you already threw me under the bus. Well, I get it. You got a big desk. This dude is knocking it out of the park. He's one of my favorites. Here he is. Bill Burr. Ha, ha, ha. Look Jimmy. At, look at you. How are you? Oh, it's I good. I love that you did the audience applaud, applause <laughs> for everybody. Yeah, there he is. Come on. <laughs> Keep it going for him. While people are talking about eating fake... That was before. I, just, I don't want to be responsible that for that before. shit. I didn't. But if the kid no, was in the no, fucking no, was building. Before. Will you shut up? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I got to tell you, the Laker fans are even worse. I can't stand them. At least Yankee fans show up at the start of the game. Those Laker fans, they show up in like the second quarter. They had to get like Botox before they came down to the game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> but you like living in L.A., you said. I love, yeah, I love L.A. And I also love, I like living there. I don't like their teams. I hate the Jets. I'm sick of people saying Rex. Jets. I'm sick of people saying Rex Ryan is confident. He's not confident. That guy cries himself to sleep with a vat of ice cream every night. <laughs> oh I'm not buying God. it. <laughs> I thought you were laughing. You were fucking yawning over here. No, the mushrooms are the fucking mushrooms. killing me, man. I knew it wasn't that. just weed. I was yeah. just like, there's no way I'm taking a hit off of that. There's mushrooms, something going on here. The mushrooms, baby. The shroom. I'm shrooming. <laughs> <laughs> How fucked up this is. <laughs> he's shrooming and he's wearing pants like he went riding a horse today. Like side saddle or some shit. I'm just going to tell you how I discovered you. I, you know, I, I do all my whole career to you. <laughs> yeah. I was, no, 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 I was no. struggling until no, 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 Bobby Lee not, discovered me. Oh, no, 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 not discover you in terms of like you d did it on your own, obviously, but no, in terms of I, my awareness of you. Oh. Can I tell you that story? Oh, no, no. I remember it was a big day in my career. <laughs> Bobby Lee is finally aware of me. <laughs> Am I on Bobby Lee's radar? See, this is what he's going to This do. is when things start to happen. <laughs> is, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to allow this to happen. Reversal. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to plug away. You know what I mean? Cool. Listen, you can talk to him all you want. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> really? Is that, is that you in action or is this another photo show? That, yeah, photo it's a shoot. photo shoot. People do photo shoots. Yeah, I know. Have you ever seen like a movie poster and you'll see a movie star who's clearly 
five foot two, yet somehow he's as tall as the supermodel. I have. I have. Yeah, that's that's a photo shoot. No fixed stuff. Look, I'm sorry you're just on the web, man. You you took it this he took it to this place. I'm not trying to shit on his website. What is it called again? Huh? Zippity doodah.com? We've never taken a break in the middle of a, of a guest. I know, I had all this momentum going, now I gotta start all over again. <laughs> go ahead, go to the card. <laughs> See this? We won game one. Here comes the second of the double header. Because the older guys, Robert Kelly's and all that, they all call you Billy. Colin calls you Billy. But I fucking Bill. You I'm know just what I immediately mean? noticing. Uh, I don't know about the chain if it's if it's <laughs> yeah. thick enough to be yeah. that warm, that level of confidence. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, well, but it's, it's more of a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> when the chain's out, yeah, I see, just, see, he has on a fat chick ankle bracelet around yeah, his just, fucking <laughs> neck. I love that you have the jib camera for this, like it's an action movie. Let's 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 swoop in at these two guys sitting in these unbelievably small chairs. I literally feel like I'm gonna fall onto the floor. This is insane. <laughs> You really went all out with the audience, though. They got full-size adult chairs. <laughs> Lost inside a clouded mind Jeopardized what could have been Only in my head I can't forget The words you said like I said Tip now to oh, wear okay. this. This is my nightclub look. Yeah, okay. come on. All right. <laughs> This is, this is, I guess this is the internet, right? You just sort of just throw it out there? I just throw it out there. I figure you're a funny yeah, guy. Well, and yeah, I, and throw I it out there. I'll throw it out there, too. Well, here's the deal. Bill's a comedian. He's at the punchline. He's in town. And you're a funny guy. You've got these routines in your head. So I figure I'll toss you a mic and you go. And I'm going to do stand-up in front of nine people in a radio station? No, I'm not doing that. Well, you're taking the fun I'll out of Southside I'll, Steve I'll take, TV. I'll take, uh, how about I give you five bucks and I want to watch you line dance in your I'm a racist <laughs> So your Christian background is, is part of the, the show. Or at yes, least and two I wanted episodes. to talk to you about Jesus after this. Well, <laughs> I, no, the only reason why I bring it up is some people thought maybe you went a little too far. You know. As far you, as what? Well, they thought that maybe you were being disrespectful to the Christian religion. Who did? I'm telling you, you need to Google. <laughs> oh, good Lord. So did you that's, feel that's you were being some... disrespectful or just you, you were just having fun with some of the crucifixes and stuff like that? I don't even know what you, I mean, we did maybe two jokes was, about that. Yeah, exactly. Don't you think the Catholic Church went a little too far? <laughs> More so than my cartoon. All right, listen. A couple of jokes. I know this is a morning show. You can't bring up all those crimes. You know what? Technically, well, they, just, they just sort of kept moving them around. You know, like those killer whales at SeaWorld. After it kills a trainer, they'll then move it up to Seattle. They don't give them their background. All right, I'm not totally following, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I want to. You know what I'm to. talking about? It's a morning show. I understand. Like, Thank time you for came being on, positive. That kid positive. was missed the graduation, and then, then the, it was a feel-good story. It was a feel-good, and we want to leave. If you want to feel good about America, you watch the morning shows. You don't watch this, you know. And we were joking earlier. If that kid's story about the graduation was late night, that would have been a whole different story. What do you think? He's still missing. We can't <laughs> find him. All we found was his hat. But you watch in the morning. It's great. It all worked out. He got his own personal graduation. Like, I was in such a great mood. Look how yellow this couch is. It's like the sun. But do you like my mic? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. Please. Is that comfortable? Is this uncomfortable? This is, yeah, no, don't, man. Honestly. Can I, can I take the mic? <laughs> sure. Now, that's number, the number one thing you don't do. As I learned that in broadcasting never. school, you never give up the microphone. See, now I have the f power. This Bob Barker thing. Yeah. You're, you're uh, what is this? Rock 100.5. This is the worst interview I've ever done, and he's wearing Stetson cologne or something. It's just really over <laughs> overpowering. How you, doing? you know what he looks like? He looks like the first guy who gets his ass kicked in a Steven Seagal movie. <laughs> no, the background guy behind the uh, the, the big kingpin. Why don't you handle this? 